good day. For this video presentation we will learn about precautionary measures before, during and after an earthquake. An earthquake is a sudden movement or vibration of the Earth's crust. It is caused when rock masses suddenly shift in position. An eruption begins when pressure on the magma chamber forces magma up through the conduct and out of volcano's vent. Volcanic eruptions vary considerably. Eruptions may be violent, mild or quiet. Preparedness for calamities, such as earthquake and volcanic eruptions includes knowing what to do before, during and after the phenomena. The individual person, community and the government should work for the safety of the people to minimize disasters during calamities. Precautionary measures before, during and after an earthquake. Before an earthquake. Move heavy objects from high shelves to lower shelves to reduce the danger and injuries from falling objects. Fasten cabinets, shelves, mirrors, and heavy objects to the walls. Place heavy and breakable objects away from bed where they can fall. Secure light bulbs slash lamps and frames found above the bed so that they will not fall in case of an earthquake. Cabinet door should have locks to prevent contents from spilling out. Turn off the LPG tank in your home to reduce the chance of having fire. Store water and dry food supplies good for a few days. During an earthquake Stay as calm as possible. If you are indoors, stay away from windows or any objects that could fall on you. Stand against a wall near the center of the building. If you smell gas, open a window and leave your house or building immediately. If you are outdoors, stay in an open area away from anything that could fall on you. If you are in a public place, take cover. Do not rush for the doors and do not get in an elevator. If you are inside the car or any vehicle, stop the car. Stay inside the car until the earthquake stops. After an earthquake, check yourself, your family members, and other people near you for injuries. Provide first aid to those who need help. Check your house or building for structural damage. Check for water leaks, especially near electrical outlets or other sources of electricity. Open the radio. Keep phone lines clear for emergency calls. Use bottled water for drinking if possible. If no bottled water is available, boil water for 10 minutes before drinking it until water is declared safe. Stay away from beaches and coastlines. Tsunamis sometimes hit after the ground has stopped shaking. Expect aftershocks. Aftershocks can weaken structures. Be aware. <music> Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, PhilVox, is a government agency that forecasts volcanic eruptions and earthquakes. This institute collects and monitors any unusual activity in the crust and mantle. It gives warnings to people living in the surrounding areas of a volcano that shows signs of an eruption. It determines volcanic danger zones. These zones are places that are directly affected by the materials released from an erupting volcano. Let's try this direction. Write true if the statement is correct and false if it is not. 1. Keep calm, do not panic when you feel the earthquake. 2. Shout as loud as you can stop the shaking. 3. Take cover under strong furniture. 4. When near the seashore move to a higher place. 5. Turn on all electrical home appliances. 6. A volcano eruption can be predicted. 7. All volcanoes emit the same kind of pyroclastic materials. 8. Volcanic eruption poses hazards to people. 9. People and the environment benefit from volcanic eruption. 10. Precautionary measures should be followed before, 
during and after an earthquake and volcanic eruptions. You have 20 seconds to answer. Time's up, and now let's do your performance task. Make a two-page brochure in a short, bond paper. Draw pictures showing what to do before, during and after an earthquake or volcanic eruptions. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.